This is show number 104, which is a review show. And we're going to start out by doing the wide angle stretch and there are several variations. So we're gonna be up here for a while. First, you block your right leg and bring your left foot out to the side, separating your feet a good distance apart, certainly farther apart than your shoulder width but not as far as we're going to go. So don't take off more than you can chew right now. Bring your arms back and interlace your fingers in the upright position. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale slowly as you bend your knee, bend your knee, drop the pelvic floor, begin to fold forward. You're coming over your left knee. So you want to push the left shoulder up to the ceiling so you can bypass the inside of your knee. Don't get your shoulder hooked up on your knee. Come on down, nose over your toes. Inhale, pick up your head, bring your torso straight off of your thigh, bring your torso upright as you straighten your knee. There's such a huge tendency that once you're down there to sway out to the center, then to go in, and when you're coming up, to sway out and come up. Don't do that. You've got to stay right over your thigh in order to get the workout in that leg. Turning to the other side, arms back, interlace your fingers, inhale, exhale, bend your knee, come forward, come forward, lift up your right shoulder, bypass the inside of your knee, nose over your toes, inhale. Come straight up off of your foot, straight up off of your thigh, and exhale, and turn. Now, inch your toes, inch your toes three times. And inhale, exhale, bend your knee, sink down, lean forward, Lift up the left shoulder. Don't hook it up on your thigh. Bypass the inside of your knee. Nose down. Inhale, come straight up off of your foot and off of your thigh. And exhale. Turn your foot in, other foot out. And inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, come forward. Again, as you come down, don't you let that shoulder get hung up on your thigh. Bring the shoulder, the right shoulder up to the ceiling. Put your chest to the inside of your knee. Come all the way down. Inhale, coming up off of your thigh. Straighten out and exhale. Bring your foot in toe out. Again, inch your foot farther away. One, two, three, four. Okay? A little different here. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knee. Come forward. Bypass the inside of your knee. Pick up your head. Place your hands on either side of your foot. Straighten out your knee, head to knee. Inhale, lean forward, arms back, push up, and exhale. Toe in and toe out. Now we're getting deep into hamstring stretches. Inhale, exhale, bend your knee, come forward, Right shoulder to the ceiling, bypass the inside of your knee, stretch way down, come up, hands on either side of your foot, straighten out your knee slowly, head to knee. Bend your knee, arms back, push up, and exhale, and one last time. On either side, inch away, one, two, three, and inhale, exhale, bend your knee, come forward, bypass the knee, 
head way, way down. Come up, hands beside your foot. Gently and carefully straighten your knee, head to knee. Pick up your head, arms back. Now lift your arms up, way up, and push up. That makes it just a little bit harder. Turn in and turn out. One last time. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knee, sink down. Fold forward, right shoulder to the ceiling, bypass your knee, head way down. Come up, hands beside your foot, straighten out your knee, pull your head to knee. Bend your knee, arms back and up. Open your chest, pick up your head, coming straight up and down. Now toe heel walk in, cross your ankles and sit. And we're going to work the knee therapy. This is something if you have some knee problems and you need to develop the strength in your quads and the muscles, you can either put a big soda pop bottle underneath your leg, which is ideal. You can sit on a chair and just bring your leg up, push the heel away from your body, tighten your kneecap, tighten your quads, bend your knee, relax. Push up, push the heel away, tighten up your knee, tighten up your quad, and relax. And again, push. Push hard, tighten up your knee, tighten up your quads, and down. Keep your stomach tight, keep the lower back flat. Straight, push firmly, push firmly, and down. Change size. Rest your leg on your the bottle, whatever you have. Stomach tight, leg up, push the heel away. Really tighten up your kneecap, tighten up those quads. Bend your knee push up. I can tell you as I did when I taught this earlier this week. From experience, this did a wonderful job on my knee, my right knee. Push firmly, bend your knee, leg out, push, tighten the kneecap. I mean, work at it. It's not just a flippy, the foot up and down. It's really working. Feel that muscle. Make sure you're contracting and down. Push up, stomach tight, push firmly, and down. Push up, firmly, push, down. One last time. Push, push, tighten up, tighten up, and release. Ease back out of your position. And now we're going to do the inverted poses. So this is one time that if you have high blood pressure, detached retina, upper area problems, heavy cold, sinusitis, ear infection, anything along those lines, uh, heavy menstrual flow, you don't go upside down. But you can lie flat on your back and bring your legs straight up, or you can just prop your legs up against the wall or some furniture and still get benefit, but keep your body prone to the floor. So the first thing that we're going to do is a spinal rock, crossing your ankles, hold on to your toes, tighten up your stomach, slowly roll back, straighten out your knees, ease into a plow, bend your knees, roll up, sit up, bend at the hip joints, fold forward, coming up, Ease down slowly, going into a plow, bend your knees, pick up your head, make your stomach muscles bring you up, bend at the hip joints, flow forward, coming back up one more time. Ease back, stomach tight, into a plow. Bend your knees, pick up your head and shoulders, sit up, good. Now, as we try to go into the shoulder stand, if you're not quite able to get into it from the conventional way, 
get up into it just like we just did. You were in half of a shoulder stand. So you come onto your back, stomach tight, pelvic tilt, legs up, curl, try to roll up onto your shoulders. Do not roll up on your neck. Do not put weight on your neck bones. Get your arms closer to each other. If your head feels fine, you don't have any undue pressure, glide your legs up. If you do feel a lot of pressure, obviously don't go into it. Hook your thumbs onto your pelvic girdle. Get your body as straight as you're able, but keep the weight on the back of your arms, not on your neck. Push the heels of your feet to the ceiling. Pull your toes toward your face. Try to be very straight and still. Then bring the right knee down into your chest with the sole of the foot facing directly to the ceiling. Straighten your leg up. Bend the left knee with the sole of the foot facing directly to the ceiling. Lift up. Right knee down, going up, left knee down, and going up. Both knees down, straight up as if though you're pushing a heavy object, straight up, bring your legs horizontal to the floor, lower down one vertebra at a time, easing down, easing down. Keep your lower back flat on the floor as you bring your legs down. If your lower back arches up, you must bend your knees to protect your back. Good. Easing into lotus, half lotus, or Indian style going into the fish. Draw your stomach in, press your knees down, arch your back, rest your head very lightly on the floor, a good arch in the low back, breathe softly, not much weight on your head, and ease out, and let yourself go. If your back bothers you, do some knee circles, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. To purchase a copy of Stretching for Athletes, program 012-002, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.